What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and you guys have been asking for a long time what this 250,000 subscriber giveaway is going to be and I've got the answer for you. If you don't know what this is or you haven't read the title of the video, this is the off-white Nike Presto, actually in a size 10 and it was purchased from Kif, still DS. And uh, I'm really jealous of whoever wins this because I still don't have a pair yet. If you guys weren't already aware, once I hit 250,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for a pair of sneakers. Up until now, it was a mystery pair of sneakers. Now we all know it's a pair of off-white Prestos. Again, very jealous of whoever wins this. More details will be announced the closer that we get to 250,000 subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed down below. That's also one of the things that you have to do to enter, is be subscribed, so it doesn't hurt to do that now to just get it out of the way. Also, there may be a few tidbits of information dropping on my Twitter and my Instagram, at RealSethFowler, so make sure to follow those as well. But just because this isn't going to be my personal pair of off-white Prestos doesn't mean that we can't review the shoe. No, I won't be doing any on-foot shots just to keep these guys DS for whoever wins it, but we'll still be doing some nice product shots and really talking about what's going on around the sneaker. I also have a pair of the OG off-white Prestos, so if you guys are worried about sizing information, don't worry, I've got you covered. So without further ado, here it is, the Nike off-white Presto in triple white. So jumping right into the sneaker itself, can you actually see that on the screen or is that completely blown out? <laughs> Let me turn down this lighting a little bit. Jumping right into the sneaker itself, most of the upper is covered in this true white, sort of very highly perforated mesh. It's got this almost like left in grandma's closet too long and eaten by moths sort of look. It's a very interesting look, which actually I don't hate. I think it looks great. Like I've said in all my other off-white reviews, I really love the sort of prototype look that Virgil gave the shoe. I think it gives it a very interesting and unique feel and obviously I'm not the only one who thinks that way because these are some of the best selling shoes on the market. This whole filled fabric or mesh is very flexible and is actually backed by another mesh so your foot isn't going to tear right through it. Around the tip of the toe you've got this sort of seam ridge which is very similar to what you'd find on a pair of sweatpants if you flipped them inside out and looked at the seam. And that's literally what they did with this shoe. Usually when they sew a seam like this they sew it the way that it's shown right here but usually they flip the seam inside out so you don't actually see this ridge and you get that sort of clean edge. That's obviously not what they did here. Again going for that unfinished look. As you continue up on the shoe you find this foam pad that's sewn onto the top of the tongue essentially making it the tongue which I think is a really cool touch. The edges of the foam are exposed just like they are with a lot of the other Nike off-white collection. And if you don't believe me that this foam pad is just sewn onto the regular Presto, check that out. There's the regular Presto tongue right there. You've even got the little Presto logo underneath. Sewn onto the top of the foam, you've got this glossy white nylon material. Running loosely across the top of the tongue, you've got your white laces, which of course, as you would expect, have shoelaces written on the end. You've also got your red stitching detail at the top of the tongue and then your offset Nike logo. This pair, like all the other pairs in the off-white collection, comes with an off-white zip tie. This time it's in red. Something that I've never ever done before is wear the zip tie on the shoe. No matter how good you think it looks, people will still give you it for it, both in person and online. Um, it's something that you're going to have to deal with. Uh, you could totally not deal with it by just taking the zip tie off, but hey, if you think it looks good, then, uh, then you're a boy, let's be honest. Just kidding. Kind of. Inside the shoe, the sock liner is covered in this very wide white mesh. The insole of the sneaker is also white with the off-white the 10 logo printed on the heel. As for sizing, this is where the shoe gets a little frustrating. By that I mean if you are a half-size sneaker wearer, you're out of luck. Because like the regular Presto, the off-white Presto only comes in whole sizes. I'm lucky enough to be a whole size and so this shoe fits me perfectly when I grab the right size. If you are, however, a half size, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. Usually what I'd say is that if you want a more snug fit, go down half a size. If you want a more wide or larger fit, go up half a size. You should be fine going either way. But because the shoe is so difficult to get, I'd say get whichever size is cheapest. I've tried on off-white Prestos that are a whole size up and it's serviceable, it's doable, it's not like the most ideal situation, but it's not like an awful thing. However, if you are able to grab your true size, the shoe does run true to size and it fits incredibly well. It's an extremely, extremely comfortable sneaker. Seriously, this shoe is like stupid comfortable. I love the way it feels. Continuing back on the sneaker, on the lateral side, you've got your misplaced stitched on Nike swoosh. This swoosh comes in sort of a light tan or a cream and is covered by this ridged plastic. Some people weren't a huge fan of the color that they used on the swoosh and would have preferred something more like a black swoosh. I personally think it looks great. I have no problem with the way it looks. Stitched into the bottom of the swoosh, you've got this little floppy orange tab, which is on all of the off-white sneakers. Some people like to legit check off-white sneakers by checking the size of 
the tab. I don't think it really makes that big of a deal. I think they're all hand cut. I could be wrong, but I think they all vary slightly, so it's not the best indicator of whether a shoe is real or not. I'd probably look more at the stitching around the swoosh and the overall shape of the shoe. Just behind that, you've got your semi-translucent milky white midfoot cage. On the medial side, you've also got a cage, except this time around it actually covers up the off-white Nike Paragraph branding. Not really a huge deal because no one really cares what it says, but I think it's a cool look overall. And also, I don't know how they would have printed the paragraph over top of the cage. Continuing back on the sneaker, you've got this Velcro strap over top of this TPU semi-translucent heel counter. Of course, you've got your signature off-white Nike branding on the lateral side. In this case, it says Air in quotation marks because that's the technology that's used in the midsole. If you didn't already get what that was referencing, that's what it's referencing. Moving down on the sneaker, you've got your all-white Presto midsole. Again, this midsole paired with this Air unit and the mesh upper makes this sneaker incredibly comfortable. Like, it's genuinely one of the most comfortable shoes in my entire collection. I can't speak for this colorway because I've never tried this one on, but the OG pair, which is exactly the same. Finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got your Duralon outsole in white and then some black rubber on the heel for added durability. Overall, the off-white Nike Presto in triple white is an incredible, incredible sneaker. You guys know me, I'm a huge off-white Nike stan. It's, it's sad to admit, but it's true. I love the way this shoe looks. I think personally, out of the black pair and the white pair that just released, I probably prefer the black pair because it would get less dirty in the city. But the overall aesthetics of this pair are just so clean and so bright. I just love the way the shoe looks. If you weren't lucky enough to grab a pair for retail, then you're gonna have to pay resale. And the good news is resale is going down a little bit. An old coworker of mine actually won the raffle at Kith and that's this pair. I actually bought it off of him. Not for retail, unfortunately, but for not too bad of a price. But again, unfortunately, this pair isn't for me. It's for one of you lucky subscribers. So uh, good luck to everybody. That pretty much wraps up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Nike Off-White Presto in triple white. So make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. Also, if you already forgot, which I doubt that you did, this is a pair that I'll be doing the giveaway on when I hit 250,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed down below. Also, also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler for more information. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.